We got it. We got it. We're here. We are here. We are here. We are here. It's two more days. Two more days. Two more days. Two more days. Guys, it's, it's, uh, what's today? <laughs> Today's Wednesday. This book will be officially out on Friday. And, um, I figured I'll just do one of these, you know, little wacky videos just because it's Wacky Wednesday. And not only that, it is also Worship Wednesday. And with that said, stay right there. Don't go anywhere. Don't go anywhere. I'm coming back. It is Wednesday. And, um, you're just watching me here. I like to talk to myself while I do stuff like this. Why? Because you're looking at me and it doesn't make any sense. So, where is this thing at? All right. <laughs> Seriously? This is what you don't see. It is organized chaos, I promise. I found it. Oh my gosh. All right, guys. So, <laughs> that's the stuff you don't see. Why? Because <laughs> I always try to, like, make things look, you know, like, effortless. But in life, we try to show our game face, put our game face on, and things are seeming kind of like, you know, <sighs> wacky. Anyways, I was going to start this video again just because, you know, I was like, oh, wait, this has like been two minutes and I still can't get myself together. But... wonderful journey. I figured that it's, it's, wait, so today's Tuesday, today's Wednesday, and the book comes out on Friday, so that means that today is the 18th, oh yeah, 18th, 19th, 20th is Friday, <laughs> that's when the book comes out. So I figured, let me do this video is what I'm trying to say, it's taking me three minutes, get this all right but that's okay because I just want you to see my heart and I want to encourage you with this beautiful song that the Lord gave to me and it's part of the book you teach me Because usually when I do these videos, like no lie, I do like 10 takes. And, um, you know, it's like one of those things in life that we want our best foot forward always, right? We want to give it 100%. But sometimes while you're walking through it, sometimes while you've got that goal and and you want to put on your best face and, and you want people to like you and, and you want your hair to look so good and whatnot, you forget who you are. 
you forget your purpose. You start to compare yourself. Um, you start to worry, like for me, while I'm singing, I'm like, oh my gosh, I hope my voice doesn't crack. I hope that this makes sense. Um, but see, it's those things that sometimes I don't let people in. Why? Because I feel sometimes like I have to be on point because I'm an encourager. I'm naturally, I'm just an encourager. I've always been that way. Um, and, and I want to give the best of me. But sometimes it's through the worst of us that God can use us to get to the best of us. So all the crazy, the two, three minutes while you saw me preparing, you know, honestly, I was gonna stop this video even when I messed up <laughs> the song and start all over. Why? Because I don't want you to see that part of me. Um, and how is that even being true to, to who I am? I am human, I make mistakes. Um, sometimes I say things that are not nice. Um, sometimes I, I don't really feel like talking, but that's part of being who I am. And that's part of me learning more about how I deal with things, how I process, and most importantly, how I lean into the Lord. So this video truly, um, I wasn't even going to do a video. And then I was like, wait, hold up. I had like two more days until the release of this book and friend, it's been six minutes and 45 seconds and I'm still talking. This room is a mess. And all this to say, sorry, the soda, all this to say that, um, I don't know what's going to come of all this. I don't know. You may not know what's going to come of all the efforts, all of your work, um, all of your, your tears that you've shed. Um, the people that have left your side, or maybe they've stopped talking to you. But you do it all in good faith. You do it all because God's asked you to do it. And that's with me. You know, I'm doing all this because I believe that um, I'm walking in, in what God has called me to do. And sometimes it's going to look ugly in the beginning until you get into your groove. But in the times where it's not working out to your expectations and you just let go, this is what God does. None of this is pre-planned. You know, I don't sit here. I mean, let me show you my mess. Whoa. Yeah. Oh my gosh. She eats McDonald's. This is not a paid advertisement either. Hold up. Give me a second. <laughs> yeah. I eat McDonald's and I eat a lot of junk food, but I also you know, try to take care of myself. So this is not pre-planned. Um, what I was trying to say is, is that sometimes when you plan things, when you sit there and, and you know, have this, this image of how things are going to be, it's never going to go right. You're going to stumble in your words. You could rehearse it 10,000 times. But you know what? Even down to your emotions, after you've pre-planned, it's all going to change. And so I just allow God to speak through me. And I hope that this makes sense to you. I hope I'm encouraging you. It's two days to the release of this book. If you're one of the first 50 people that bought the book, you will receive your audiobook within a couple of weeks as soon as I get the uh, promo codes. So this video is so long and it's one of the longest videos I've done. Usually I try to stay within like, three to five minutes, but you know what? It's been on my heart to really just share my heart, um, to share some of the things I've been struggling with. Um, and those are some of the things I've been struggling with. Um, I talk about perfection in my book. Uh, I talk about insecurity. I talk about idolizing radio. I talk about how much I hated music at one point in my life. I talk about um, my abandonment issues. Um, there's just so much that I talk about, but God is just such a good God friend. And, you know, it's through that process when we allow him into those deep, dark places of our hearts and we learn to truly trust in him and we, and we see, um, what, what he can do or, or we hang on by faith 
that um, we see his glory. So I'm going to sign off now because it's 10 minutes and um, I can talk a lot. I mean, I spend a lot of time by myself, but I just want to encourage you today. So I hope that my chaos um, in the beginning, <laughs> if you're still watching, I'm surprised, but um, I hope that if anything that you take away from this video today is that God's got, he's got you. And if you just let him lead, if you let him lead you through the, the, the roughness, the, uh, the chaos, when things seem hard or uneasy or you feel, start to feel discouraged and you want to start all over just because you want to put on a brave face and a good face for everyone else, friend, just, just give in to the power of the glory that is the Lord. Lean into him. Lean into his understanding. And in all your ways, acknowledge him and he will direct your path. I hope you have a fabulous day. I'll be back on here tomorrow. I'm doing another video. For the meantime, flexing my